The first Odyssey gameplay trailer just dropped. We have some new Odyssey screenshots, the game is available to pre-order on PC and we have news of alpha access to the expansion. If you enjoy this video remember to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications and if you'd like to support our work you'll also find us on Patreon. Links to everything you need are in the description below. Frontier had promised something extra in December and last night it arrived. As part of the Game Awards livestream in the US an Odyssey trailer was shown and wouldn't you know it we have our first glimpses of actual Odyssey gameplay. The trailer starts with Space Oddity by David Bowie playing as we see images of a cobra flying across some beautifully rendered worlds. As images of footprints left in the soil are shown the camera pans up to show a space suited character walking away with a huge gas giant in the sky above as an eagle passes overhead. The next scene shows a group of commanders and their ships parked on the surface of an alien world. There's also an SRV parked there which importantly has no one sitting in it. A minor detail but we're taking this as confirmation that you can exit your SRV. We're then treated to various scenes of suited commanders, walking SRVs, planets with tenuous atmospheres and exteriors of the Astor's Hope ground installation that we're familiar with from other trailers. All of them looking thoroughly tantalising and beautifully rendered. It's worth mentioning by the way that the words in game footage are on screen throughout all of this trailer. Then the trailer moves on to the first of its big reveals a ground installation with a gun battle happening around the buildings exteriors as ships engaged in combat pass overhead. Albeit at a somewhat pedestrian pace with no manoeuvring happening this is clearly staged combat for the camera but importantly it's the first look at what Frontier have been calling the sphere of combat. Infantry and vehicles all in the same place all at the same time with combat happening. But the trailer isn't done with you yet. What follows after are multiple very quick flashes of first person shooter combat from within Elite Dangerous both inside and outside of a ground installation on a planet with a tenuous atmosphere. We see grenades, tracer fire, personal shields flaring, structures on fire, energy weapons, combat by torchlight, weapons being reloaded, combatiers looking down the sights of their weapons and even a small puff of blood at one point. It really seems as though Frontier are aiming for a fully fleshed out first person shooter experience. There are so many details we've noticed in this trailer and it all moves by so quickly that we'll be releasing a second video to pick up everything that we can't fit in here just now. The trailer closes with the two now familiar male and female space suited characters overlooking a valley on an atmospheric world as a cobra passes really low overhead. The shot giving a really solid impression of just how big the ship is. As the trailer went live so did the pre-order for the PC platform at least. Consoles don't seem to have the option at the moment. The pre-order comes in two flavours. The standard 30 quid option gives access to an exclusive skin for your character and coming in at 40 quid is the deluxe alpha edition which includes the exclusive skin but also comes with the Elite Dangerous Odyssey original soundtrack music and importantly access to the alpha build of the game. If you're lucky enough to own the lifetime expansion pass to the game from way way back in the day you will get the deluxe alpha version of Odyssey for free. No pre-order necessary. All in all the trailer was very much made for the environment in which it was launched and for the audience that was expected to see it in that environment. That's to say it was being shown at an award ceremony to an audience of around 500,000 people the vast majority of whom probably aren't Elite Dangerous players already. It very much felt like it was designed to grab the attention of people who don't play the game right now but might be interested in picking up an MMO first person shooter. Frontier needs to bring new blood into the galaxy to ensure Elite's long term future. This trailer feels like part of that process. 
It's likely that this first glimpse of true Odyssey gameplay will trigger a few of the more hardcore elite players and I think it's going to take a longer gameplay reveal and dare I say it a livestream or 3 to show those people what they need to see and that's completely understandable. I count myself amongst those people. I really enjoyed the trailer for what it was but I don't think it was predominantly designed for me. Some real quick points to note. When the Steam pre-order first went live it showed an expected release date for Odyssey of the 21st of April 2021. The date has since disappeared from Steam and Frontier have reiterated that until a launch date is officially announced do not believe anything you see from any other sources. Importantly also at the time of recording the Steam pre-order is causing players elite dangerous launchers to stop working. Frontier are aware of it and there is a workaround which should get your launcher working again. I've linked to that below this video. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then 07 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.